Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kate and Henry and we are out here on a very cold day at Hudson Crossing Park. Ooh, what do you think, Henry? It's a little chilly out today. It's also the first week in December and I don't know about you, but when I think of December, I think of winter. Now you and I probably get ready for winter pretty much the same way. We get out our warm winter coats and maybe wear a hat outside or a nice toasty scarf. And then when we're at home, we turn up that heat and maybe, just maybe, like Henry, have hot cocoa as a special treat. While well, animals and mother nature get ready for the winter in a very different way than we do. And so Henry and I thought we would take this month to talk about all the different ways the world around us gets ready for winter. When winter comes, the world looks like a very different place than it does during the summer. All of a sudden, it's very cold out, there's snow on the ground, and ice on the trees, and even the animals have to adjust how they live. All sorts of animals call Hudson Crossing Park home, and they all get ready for winter in different ways. The bats that we see flying around the skies hibernate in these bat houses that we have set up around the park. Snakes? Why, they'll find a nice cozy pile of rocks to curl up in and sleep away the winter and come out when the spring and warm weather returns. Now, you might remember this summer when Henry and I talked to you about the northern map turtles that live in the park. We even got to see them laying their eggs in the sandy soil of the Hudson Crossing Park field. So, we know what bats and snakes do. How do the northern map turtles spend the winter? The answer just might surprise you. While many animals hibernate, which means they sleep all through the winter and don't wake up again until spring, Turtles, like the northern map turtle, bromates. This means that they're very, very slow moving and sleepy, but they are actually awake and still moving around, even if it's only a little bit. When winter comes and the weather becomes cold, northern map turtles go to the same place they spend the summers, the river. But instead of sunning themselves on the rocks and trees, the map turtles swim to the bottom of the river, deep, deep underwater, and settle down on the floor of the river. Here, they'll cover themselves with leaves or even mud, and they will brumate for the entire winter. Now, you and I know that turtles need to breathe air to survive. So how do they breathe air underwater? Well, that's a really cool thing. Turtles are what are known as cold-blooded animals, which means their body doesn't make its own heat. They get the heat from the world around them. When the turtle is surrounded by the cold water of the Hudson River, in this case, it slows down. Turtles already are pretty slow. You and I know that too. But when the turtle is cold and its body slows down, that means that it doesn't need much air, much food, or much of anything really to keep going. In the end, it is able to get the amount of air that it needs to survive through its skin from the water around it. It is pretty awesome to look out on the Hudson River and know that hundreds of turtles are resting just below the surface, waiting for warm weather to come back. Well, boys and girls, I hope you had fun learning about our northern map turtle friends and some of the other animals in and around the park that like to take long, cozy naps for the winter. I don't know about you, Henry, but I think it might be time to go home to our warm and toasty house maybe have some hot chocolate, and then take a long cozy nap ourselves. We'll see you next week, boys and girls. Bye.